Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's hang out here. It's uh, been nice in Los Angeles lately. Been really uh, enjoying the weather here. Let's get our intro screen up. Oh, so low budget, so unprofessional. Whatever, what are you going to do? Uh, it's been nice here. Um, it actually been raining. It's been snowing in the mountains here around LA. I went out yesterday, was playing in the snow, having a good time. Uh, but I forgot to put some sunscreen right here on my forehead. So I got like a forehead burn slash tan. It's kind of weird, like just one part of my forehead's burning. Uh, so that's one problem I got to deal with. Another problem uh, to deal with here is 3.2.4 course registration. That has been pretty tough here. Uh, tough going, tough working. Um, the key skills we're going to need are classes and instances, uh, lists, for loops and functions, you can see those key skills are getting quite long here uh, and quite difficult things to understand, lists we've been working with. Anyways, let's let's keep going. I made, uh, here's some, some interesting things to look at. And then I uh, made a, me a class of super movie right here. So I defined uh, a class of super movie. I initialized it with a couple of parameters, the superpower, the villain, and the equipment. Then I just wrote out a couple instances of that class right there. Uh, just to uh, kind of make a fun toy class right there. Uh, functions, maybe we'll look at those in the video. I don't know, maybe I'll just do it in a separate video. We'll figure it out as we go here, as we always do. Okay, let's jump in. Let's take a look at the three files we're going to need. We're going to need the course, and I like to order them like this, the course right here. Start with our basic, just defining class of course. Then this one, a more complex definition for student. And then finally, our data access, our... <clears throat> our way to access those classes, record some data, print some data. Here we go um, from this one right here, which is this one, this is the registration. And actually this is the one we're gonna start with. So, uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's start here. And actually I'm not gonna show this. I think you guys can figure out how to add in another course right there, two more courses actually, just kind of following that. We're just generating instances of this class right here, okay? Then we're gonna generate some instances of this class of student right here. The parameters we have to provide it right there are the first name and the last name. Now what, let's see here, add two more, for, uh, okay, so add a third test student. So we're gonna create a test student three, uh, provide a first and last name to join Bill sample, Jill sample, the, the, uh, the siblings there that go to school, the sample uh, children, they're the best, we're going to create a third one right there. Uh, maybe throw your own name in there. I threw in Mr. Stem. Okay, anyways, we're going to pick it up and start the... Uh, I'm going to start adding to this right here. And I'm going to create a list, the fake kid list. And uh, I'm going to add two, in, or two students into that list. So let's add test student and uh, test student. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. Test student to make sure we got the right thing. Okay, there we go. Test student and test student. Okay, and it's okay with that. The X goes away. And then to do is to print the student list. So that shouldn't be too hard. So we'll say print fake kid list. All right. So I've taken, so I've created some courses right here. And I used, uh, I accessed that file to do so. And then I've created some students, right? And I've accessed this file right here to do so. So we've imported our course. We've imported our students. Now we've used those. Now we're printing a list of students. So let's see if it works. And I think it actually is gonna work pretty good. So it did actually work, but it's basically telling me that, hey, the job isn't done yet. So let's see what happened right here when I printed. It says course not added, implementation needed. So that's one problem we're gonna have to solve. Now the other problem we're going to have to solve is uh, this one right here. So what it's doing is it's printing a list of the students. It is actually printing the students, but it's not printing the useful stuff like their name and what courses they're taking. It's printing off the less useful stuff, um, or maybe, I don't know, in, in this context, it's basically printing the location in memory. So it's saying, hey, I created this student and I stored it in the memory of the computer at this location right here. So you know, what we want to do is write some code that can access the information that's stored there, the, the, the first name, the last name, the courses, and I think that's about it. So here we go. Let's get into it. I can tell you what, I'm going to solve one of these problems for you, and I'm going to give you perhaps a couple of hints to solve the second part of that problem for you. Okay, so let's see here. Let's look at our uh, student 
class right here. So you can see we've got our def init. We're defining the first name, the last name. Now this courses list, which is empty so far, self.courses an empty list, and a student ID that just starts at zero and go, counts up. Um, we probably are familiar with that from the post list. All right, now here's where we have a big challenge where we have to define our own string function right here. Then we have get first name, get last name, get student ID and add course. And you can see right here under the add course, it says we got a to do add code to append new course to self dot course and then print course not yet added implementation needed. So let's see here if we can figure out what to do here. So we're appending. So we know we're going to do a dot append. Now, what do we want to append it to? We want to append it to this list right here, the self dot courses. So we're using our dot access method and we're triple dot accessing here, or maybe this is double dot access. We have self dot courses. Now we're dot appending something. Now we have to give it our parameter. What do we want to append into the course list? And actually this parameter is coming through for us, right? So we send it over here. Where are we? We send it over like test student add course. And then we send over, oh, we want to send the history. Uh, that's the one we want to add, right? So it's already coming in. We just need to access it. New course. Now this value is going to be history or math or computer science or whatever course we're adding to it right there. And then of course we can change this print to something like course. All right. And then, uh, Let's let's uh, save this thing and maybe we'll just run it for good measure. Why not? And we'll come over here and we'll run this again and we'll see if we've solved that problem. Okay, so now it tells me the course is added. Of course, I can't see the course yet, so I can't say for sure that it's working, but I did this activity earlier and I'm pretty sure I did that right um, because I was I was able to print the list and the um you know and the courses so you know i felt pretty good about that you guys will be feeling good soon too okay so now this one this is a tougher problem to add here okay so it says uh to do iterate over each of the students in the list and print their names and course schedule each iteration should get concatenate and print the first and last name of the student print all courses for that student and print a blank line between students. So there's a few different ways you can attack this and feel free to go about it whatever way you see fit. I'm going to offer uh, some hints here and actually I'm gonna look at the post program uh, from last time and see how we printed last time and see if I can kind of copy from there. So we have our elif user input equals print and then it says for post in post list do this print the, the str function, the string function of the index number, and then add a post on there or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what this is doing, but I'm going to try to copy the general um, syntax here. Well, let's leave this here. And we'll start here. Um, print paid list. Okay. So starting here with our lowest level of indentation, we'll say full oh, oops. For a student in a kid list. Okay, and I believe I need a uh, colon here. And we're going to uh, do this. Let's see, what are we going to print here? We're going to print the, the str of, I believe, index. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Print str, print string. I think I'm going to go like that. Print string student, and we'll see if it works. And it says, okay, it's everything's good. All right, print string uh, student. Okay, get concatenate and print the first and last name of the student. Print all courses for that student. Print a blank line between students. Okay, so uh, there we go. And then we'll print our blank line. I forgot, you know what, I'm just gonna let you guys figure that out. Okay, so uh, now we'll go over here to our skeleton access here. And let's check this out. And let's see here. So we need to define the string, we call to it right here, we call for the string, right? 
But now we need to define what that string does right here. Okay, so this is what we did the other time. We added the username, the date, time, and the message. Now, here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, pardon me. Let's find our student here. Okay, so to do, you will need to use a variable in the loop, so you must initialize it here. So I said, I think I did something like this. Oh, you know what? And actually, let's leave those directions so that they're useful here. But we'll say, you'll need to initialize. So I said, uh, student, no, I said, print student, student equals, and I actually just initialized it to a blank string. Now I'm going to be using, I'm going to be adding some strings in there. So uh, print student, and you know what, maybe this is a poorly named variable. So maybe I'll change it to this student. Maybe that's a poorly named variable as well, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just going with it. Okay. Equals, and then we're going to say uh, self dot first. We're going to uh, append that, or we're going to put that on there. We're going to add that into the string. And we'll say this student equals self dot, uh, no, no, equals this student plus, and I'm going to put a space in there. And I'm going to put in plus this plus self dot last name. Okay. That's going to be pretty easy. Here's where it gets real hard and uh, where I will leave undone. Now, is it not happy about something here? Invalid syntax. What, what do you, what, what are they complaining about here? That's, this is garbage. I can't believe that. All right, let's run it and uh, let's run it here. Okay, let's run that, see if it works. Okay, so it's telling me this student, hmm, oh, you know what it is? I think uh, plus last name probably just made a mistake here. Where am I? I can't even find the file. <laughs> okay, self dot last name, yes, right, right there. We need an underscore. Always got to make a couple of mistakes like that. No big deal. Okay, here we go. So to do, add a loop that will go through the course list. So we're going to say for course in self dot courses. And then we're going to indent this thing. And then we're going to put a colon at the end so that we can keep our syntax operator happy. You can see it uh, went down there. OK, that's good. Here's where I'm going to end the video. I'm going to let you guys write that for loop right there. Figure out what to do. You're going to be adding on to this student variable. And then ultimately, you're going to want to return or print that variable right there. OK, so not easy to do. But uh, good luck, and I hope you're successful.